All right, Sandy, it's uh, Monday morning, and I'm at the top of Dustin Cook by the by the Star Pavilion. And uh, hey, what I have been doing for uh, for Mark and Sean leading up to both the uh, Norams and also the fist races was to give them a daily course report on the work, the state of the nation of the of the of the piece, and what work had to be done to get ready for the upcoming upcoming races. And and this is normally done. The first thing. The chief, of course, chief of race do in the morning is they take a lap and they assess the work that was completed overnight and they address what needs to be done over the course of the day and what projects have to be planned from here, from that day on forward till you get to race day. So there's a number of different projects and things I'd like to point out to you today. Uh, they have to do with the start, some of the snow conditions that we have on the way down the mountain, the status of the net, the status of the grooming all the way across. And I'll stop and make a bit of a video and then uh, summarize it at the end. So the start ramp needs to be rebuilt. There's a fair amount of snow uh, just on uh, abutting the start pavilion, but this uh, this ramp needs to be built, particularly right at the start. Uh, we when we built the start pavilion, we built a facade. So and there's only a few places where a start actually comes out of a doorway, and that's generally if you watch World Cup or Europa Cups or World Ski and stuff like that. But any place else uh, a doorway doesn't come into play but because we build a doorway the start posts are not where they should be they need to come out at least three quarters of a meter if not more which means the snow has to be built up all the way at parallel level with the uh with the floor in the building and come out at least three quarters of a meter put the start post in and then the ramp st starts there the ramp needs to be widened some and iced in because there are uh, we got a lot of starts we have a lot of starts looking down on skiers right from the start um, this net needs to be pulled in fact most of the net all of the net on the hill pretty much has to be pulled this net in particular because this the snow needs to be groomed out wider so that we have more more width of the hill up here to play with because we have we have a lot of super g sets coming down from the top we need to give we need to give some uh, variability or some choices to the course setter particularly when they come over that first pitch and i'll point out what the snow's like down there skiers right is not the best it was supposed to be rebuilt before the norams but that didn't happen and it's too late to rebuild it now so we need to give more space for the course setters so i'm halfway down the uh, first pitch here on skiers right so I'm halfway down the first pitch uh, from center to uh, to the fence on skiers, right? The snow here is not good snow. It's uh, It was all ripped up by the cat track earlier in the year and uh, it's not repaired itself. So we have a combination of big chunks of ice and air with some snow that comes over top. Now with the snow coming this week, if we plan the grooming based on the temperatures and the amount of snow that we're getting, we could have a grooming plan that we can try to repair the snow otherwise towards the end of the week or early on the weekend we're probably going to have to do a repair preventative repair uh with which means water and snow and, and 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 some shovel work with the fresh snow that we have around to try to make this a surface that we can last otherwise the course that's going to have to come in from skiers left it's going to have to be a left footer the whole time and we have a lot of traffic coming down this side of the hill so the good news is on uh, skiers right that net probably doesn't have to be pulled it can just be well it has to be pulled and reset if it's a double it's got to be groomed out the bad news is over here on skiers left from where i'm standing through rock cut is all this net has to come out and uh and rolled up and then reset because the there's there's snow between the nets there's snow back behind the nets the the backside layer is not effective the way it is it's not installed according to ins to manufacturer specification neither is the front row so with the amount of snow that we have here, it all has to come out. We have to groom it out here just for safety purposes. When we get down further, there's different reasons we have to groom out. But right here, it's, it's, it needs to all come out and be reset. And you can say, no, it doesn't have to. That's up to you. That's up to you. So I'm standing at the trees just above Sporting Life. And here the net starts to have to be repulled for different reasons. And one is where I'm standing right now, just out from the trees, there's not enough snow to set. Uh, we knew there was not enough snow earlier in the year. We pushed a lot before the, the fist races. But unfortunately, even the first day of fist racing, our slippers in their exuberance, we lost 15 centimeters of snow right here where I'm standing. 
and now we're at the point where we're, we don't have enough snow to set unless we dig around for snow. So this net has to be pulled so we can pull the snow from the side of the hill and move it in. On the right side, we just need to pull the net and smooth all that out and then reset the net for safety. Yeah, so here just above Sporting Life, the, the, the hill is, is, now, uh, is now concave and, and that can't be. We need to take the snow from over on Skier's Left and we have to bring it into the center because we're short about 30 centimeters of snow where we need it. And we are going to need it because there's going to be lots of slipping going on with the Super G. And we, we need to be able to set in this section with certainty that we can, that the core setter can put, put the turns where they want to put, where they want to put the turns. Um, so for that reason, and further down too, once I get over waterfall, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So skiers right across from uh, the Sporting Life Start. This net should have all been pulled yesterday. There's 30 centimeters of snow here, and all, all this net has to come out. All of this has to be groomed out, and all of it has to reset. There's no way really a lot of choice. I know you're going to struggle with manpower, but it's it just has to be done. And, it sh and it, this should have been taken out yesterday. Same thing on uh, skiers left above, uh, above, above uh, waterfall and below basketball. This net has to be pulled and groomed out, and we can actually probably get wider in here uh, so that the core setters have more latitude when they're coming around to the left of basketball. So I'm standing at the top of Waterfall, and you can see the same issues with the snow all the way down on skiers left by Waterfall and uh, skier, skiers left and right. Right across from me here, there's this. We, we need to reclaim the flatness of the hill. Um, we just do, and and there's there's snow banks over there. The groomer's got to be able to get in there and wing out the snow with the blade and put it back on the hill. And when we get down further, that's that's the case almost all the way down on skiers right, especially through this section. We need to get the hill flat again. And and on the left, again, you can see that this net just has to be pulled out and reset. And we have snow coming this week too. So, I mean, I don't know when the net's coming out. I don't want to stand here long because I'm just about one third of the way down waterfall. But this snow in front of me, you can see it's kind of roughed up there. Underneath is just chunks of ice and, and light snow and air underneath. Um, if there's any pressure on the ski, if there's any turn that puts that comes through this section, uh, it's going to be a disaster. And there's not a lot we can do with it. Uh, it'll really depend on how much snow we get and how we treat it with the groomer. It's uh, if we do, it's hard to do a light tilt through here because it's very steep. I'd like to do some light pressure and high speed reverse tilt, but I, I don't know if uh, Irve is able to do that. But that needs this needs to be worked every night to try to reclaim it some. So all this uh, Zorchik net on skiers right. This is a hill management issue because that net needs to be pulled out and rolled or set back substantially. I'm talking two three meters so that the snow there can be reclaimed and put back out on the hill so that the skiing public can enjoy that before and after we're racing. On skiers left, it's a different issue. We have the snow. The net has to be pulled and reset for safety reasons. It's not, it's, we can't, you can't be setting that in that, in that deep snow. It's gotta be a hard surface for the net to work properly. And we're hoping it doesn't have to happen that we ever use that net, but I mean, that's what we have net for. And if we put it in, it's gotta be able to work. You can really get a good look at the net line through here and up the hill. All this snow just has to, all this snow just has to, has to go. And the only way to get rid of it is to pull this net and roll it up. It's gotta look like this down here. Again, down, coming through the flats here. Uh, we still have snow. You can see all the deep snow in the woods and the deep snow right along here. This was a um, this was a uh, yesterday issue. I mean, with the snow that we had yesterday, it was problematic that we'd have to do something with the net. So um, we did have. It doesn't matter. We had mound power available. We didn't use it, and now we're going to have to dig those people up somewhere. I'm going to go drill the snow now. So that's a summary of the uh, net condition and the snow in a couple of different places on the hill in the start. And this is all work programs that, uh, 
Uh, I mean, it, we have to prepare a race. If this fence wasn't up here, we would have done all these things. Then we put the net back in. Unfortunately, we still have the net in the hill, and that causes us some problem in getting the work done that we have to do to prepare the piece properly. So prepare the piece, then put the safety in. It's not backwards.